And today we're going to be talking mostly about academic side of things of your application for medicine. Dr. Charles, where you at? Man, I need a doctor. So to start off with, it's your GCCs. So what you want to start off with is you want to make sure you've got at least an A or a B in English and maths. Um, if you haven't achieved that, I would definitely say try to possibly reset before you apply for medical school. There are medical schools that won't really focus on that, but it is a big disadvantage to the amount of schools you can apply to. Personally, I know this because I got a C in maths and that really limited me to the amount of schools I could apply to. There were only a set handful I could apply to. Some of the ones I wanted to go to, I couldn't go because, you know, my grade wasn't good enough and I hadn't done the reset in time before applying. I should have, but I didn't. I should have, but I didn't. Also, the other thing, the A-level subjects you pick. So you've probably finished your GCCs now. You're thinking, which A-level subjects do I pick? I would definitely say you need to pick at least two sciences because if you look at most schools requirements, they will ask for biology and chemistry. So I would definitely advise to include those two in your choices. You can get away with doing just chemistry. Maybe if you do it with maths as well, you can get away with it. And from your other two choices, I would say pick, stick to traditional subjects. That's what I would advise to stick to traditional subjects. General studies, A-level will not be recognized in many places. You will find it not to be very useful in your path to trying to apply to medical school. Um, I've seen so many websites that literally stay not general studies. So I wouldn't advise picking general studies for the purpose of it being one of your core four. A levels and for the other two A levels I would definitely say stick to traditional subjects but pick the ones that you enjoy for me I picked English literature and economics um, English literature I thought I would enjoy it because of GCC but it turned out to be very different um, I was not very good at the coursework I got a D in the coursework but managed to get A in the exam averaged out on a B economics I found it so terribly well, the exam technique is what I struggled on. I was barely leveling out a B in economics. So I did better overall in English lit compared to economics, but overall I chose economics because I enjoyed it more. And I ended up getting an A in economics. What I realized is I needed to change my revision technique, how I was approaching the study itself. We'll be talking about revision technique and how to do self-study in a different video. If you're gonna pick up something when you drop your fourth a your fourth as subject you can also pick epq be wary of epq because most of the people who picked epq and also applying for medicine were focusing mostly on the other three a levels and most people i know and me personally didn't do so well in epq i got a d on epq but don't pick something that you know will be time consuming and demanding because at the end of the day you really want to get those three A's and if you don't get those three A's and then you get into a case of trying to reset that will also um, lower the opportunities or medical schools you can apply to that's resetting in your gap year after you've completed your A-levels so yeah that's pretty much it on subjects um, if you're still a little bit unsure at really what you know universities are looking for or you want to have an idea of what universities are actually looking for um, a great book to start is this book right here, it's Getting Into Medical School. Um, there's probably a 2016 entry out by now. I'll include the link to where to buy the book on Amazon below. There's also a page on Student Room. I'll include the link down for that, which lets you compare sort of what subjects and what GCC requirements each medical school is looking at. It's very good to target the medical schools that, to target the medical schools that you think you are best suited, well, which your academic profile best suits. So the other key game player in this, in your medical application, is also the entrance exams, the UK CAP. And I know other institutes do different various other exams. Um, I'll be doing a video on that soon. So what to take away today, it's do two sciences. And the other two can be any other subjects of your choice, but make sure you enjoy them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything you want to me to go over or to cover in this video, just leave a link below and I will try to get back to those questions. That's pretty much for today. Ambition's been a doctor, so I got it on the low. Got the prescription on the right, well, I've got with the stethoscope.